Hello, so I want to talk about Jorgen since Jorgen is the hero of the month. Um, for the month of December 2022. Um, if you don't have Jorgen yet, you will get him on the seventh day. Um, if you have the souls to summon him, I don't summon him. Like if you don't have him yet, to get wait till you get it here because if you, because it takes thirty souls to summon him. Um, but if you already have him and you make it to day seven, you only get eighteen souls, so you'll get twelve extra souls if you wait. If you don't have him yet. Um, so let's go to Jorg and read his abilities. We'll probably read his description first. Stats. You are ready to learn arcane knowledge, discipline. But first, prove your loyalty to darkness. Take your brother's life and his immortal soul, the wizard yell. But he nor anyone else could have predicted how this tragedy would end. All right, so he's a control hero and his additional role support. His main stat is strength, which is kind of interesting. If he's a midline hero. His skills, his ultimate is kind of like the key ability here. Torment of Powerlessness. Jorgen summons a skull to the enemy's front line, which deals magic damage to nearby heroes. Affected enemies cannot gain energy for nine seconds. This used to be the most powerful ability in the entire game. Like this was the, the meta defining ability. Um, and we'll talk about why it's not anymore, but uh, this is actually a pretty good ability and used to be the most powerful ability in the entire game. But absolutely meta defined. Um, Circle of Energies protects an ally with a magic shield. This ally gains energy doubled rain until the shield is destroyed. And this is shield, shield absorbs damage, all damage, including pure damage. One of the few abilities in the game that can block pure damage. I think the only other one, like I, and Anvari has a shield that does similar things. Um, but that one does not block magic damage. It only blocks physical and pure, whereas Gorgon blocks all types. Also, also increases energy gain on the Anvari shield. Um, Leper. Uh, this one, I keep level one. Like, it really depends. Like, a lot of teams you actually do not want to level this ability because it's kind of, it can be bad. It can be good on certain teams. I just really, you have to have a team really built for it. And I think for most people, you do not want to level a skill. Jorgen curses everyone on the enemy team, making the furthest enemy the target of the curse. Physical damage taken by heroes on the enemy team will be redirected to the target of the curse for 10 seconds. So, like, this is, so, like, this usually puts the backmost hero in harm's way. And this could be a problem if they're using, like, Martha or something, because Martha is pretty tanky, can absorb a lot of the things, which I think is part of the reason they, they released Martha, was to kind of counter Jorgen's, kind of make Jorgen a bit worse, because they introduced Martha in April 2019, like, well deep into Jorgen meta. But, uh, so that's, like I said, so people stopped leveling that skill because of that. Um, Tainted Wounds, if then every attack, your can still some of the affected enemy's energy, so this can take energy from the main tank, usually. This could be really good, unless they have, like, super high energy gener regeneration, like, uh, Aurora with Kane. Like, um, Jorgen meta was kind of, like, predates, uh, pets, like, pets, so this was never really a thing, like, but, uh. This also, like, but Aurora can just really just gain energy faster than he can ever hope to drain it. So, uh, not a, not a thing. But, uh, the reason, like I said, these abilities don't work like anything though, because all these abilities here, like these three abilities can all be blocked by Ode to Serenity. So when Sebastian was added to the game, uh, Jorgen became a lot worse. A lot of people use the word castrated. Like, that is how, like, the effect Sebastian had on Jorgen. Like, Sebastian is the most, like, I've been playing this game since 2019. The introduction of Sebastian was the most significant thing to ever happen in this game in terms of how much it shifted the metagame. Like, Jorgen, like, he was the best hero in the game. It wasn't even close. Like, every, like, he dominated the entire metagame. Like, he was a must-have hero. You really needed him. And you didn't really need a whole lot of investment in him. Like, like he was just super good, like, super powerful, because it's just, you could shut down... Just about any strategy in the game with the Tormented Power on this, this, combined with Tainted Wounds. Plus this uh, offered like a lot of protection, so he's just, you know, you would see him in every team. Like if you weren't playing Jorgen, you're probably making a mistake. It's kind of like where Sebastian, and then Sebastian took his place like pretty much over time. I mean, it's like I've never seen anything like affect the metagame as much as Sebastian did. And like I said, that's part of they tried to have soft nerfs to Jorgen first. Like they introduced Satori with Winterfest 2019. Satori... Um, has a, his ability here, like if they gain extra energy, um, he gains, 
every time they gain bonus energy because Jorgen has the ender ability, his shield gains bonus energy. This lets Tori get a lot of marks against uh, Jorgen and stuff, like in right in the Tainted Wounds, I think, charges his own energy. Um, but this allowed, like I said, but he was meant to be a Jorgen counter, and, well, he didn't really counter Jorgen very well. So he added Martha to block, like, the kind of counter with the Leper ability, and they added... Right, because the organ steals the energy. Like I said, I think that goes to him. So it's like, so um, so this like, so Satori was supposed to be good for his organ games. Didn't matter enough. They introduced Martha four months after Satori. This made Leper a lot worse, but Yorgen is still the meta hero. So they took the sledgehammer approach, introduced Sebastian, and who owed to Serenity, blocks all status effects, like, and it just absolutely just broke the whole meta game. Um. When this first released, they access also block pure damage over time abilities like Maya and Arachne used to have something called Neurotech stuff like is right. So those would be blocked. But uh, this actually, right. They once they introduced Yasmin, though, they actually so-called so-called nerfed Sebastian. Um, so he couldn't block pure damage anyway. But this actually made Sebastian even harder to counter. And Sebastian became pretty much almost uncounterable at that point because you could no longer use like pure damage effects from heroes like Arachne and Maya to like overload Odus Renny. So you could actually use Jorgen anymore. So uh, it really wasn't until the introduction of Biscuit, which actually gave us a reliable Ode Stripper again with his, uh, was it Stain Chill ability? I forget what it's called. We'll have to look at Biscuit, but he has like an ability. It's like the introduction of Biscuit in 2021 with his, yeah, Stain Chill ability. Like that strip, that's that, because that's to add stage effects that help strip off Ode Serenity really quickly with certain heroes like Maya. So it took all of that before, like, Jorgen could actually find a place in the metagame again. Like, he's actually not bad. Like, he's not a must-have. He's not top tier, but he can be good in the right team. Usually teams that run, like, heroes like Maya, who can run Biscuit as a patron, to strip off of the Serenity. Um, so let's go look at his skins. He has, he is a strength hero. Um, you actually don't want to really, really, like, level up his health a whole lot, though. Strength, yes, for against Jew, but probably skip his health skin. I know the champion skins, a lot of people think the champion skin is pretty cool. But yeah, you probably want to skip it. Magic attack, magic defense. Strength is just for uh, protecting him from like crits and stuff, but does that increase his health? You can skip his health cliff. You probably want to do strength just for protection for against crits and stuff, but skip the health glyphs and skins. Um, artifacts. So he has magic attack artifact, which is fine in, you know, it's like I said, our magic attack buff's fine. Um, Armor, Magic, Defense, Defender's Covenant, Strength Ring. That's a lot. It's a lot of health, but Strength, again, protects against crits. Like, if you skip the Health Glyph and the Health Skin, like, it'll save, like, 170,000 uh, health off him, which is probably, like I said, that's just quite a bit. You probably don't need to... You probably don't need to level Maldo up to Red 2. You could probably just, like, take him to Red, call it good. Um, and I think he's a support hero or in the thing. Maybe he is a control hero, actually. I think he actually is a control hero now. He's control on a uh, great tree, right? So this one's probably like, this is the smallest branch. There's like one of those branches that aren't leveled as much. But, uh, you know, he doesn't really need any of those stats, to be honest. So you can probably skip, if as the only control hero, you, you could probably skip that too, so. Um, and we'll show, we'll show like some team stuff, like kind of talk about like Jorgen's role. Like, you don't see him near as much anymore, like I said, because Sebastian really took him out of the metagame, but he doesn't have any ascension abilities yet. And his, uh, but we can look at his stuff. Magic attack, strength, health. Again, there's a lot of health here, like... Magic attack helps make his shield better. Like, the shield is a good ability, so it's just really... The magic attack is the main reason you want to do this. But you do get a lot of health and something to consider, but you could probably skip like, like this last section here. I mean, there's no magic attack there. It's just magic defense and use of armor. There's some strength, so just kind of really depends on how far you want to take him. But uh, the magic, uh, there's a lot of magic attack nodes here that are worth getting. But, uh, you know, he used to be meta-defined because there wasn't a so Disrenda. You couldn't use, like, there were no pets. There was no Sebastian. So you would see teams like the old, like, kind of like the old trio. Like the old 
the old trinity before the holy trinity like was astaroth martha jorgen like this was the core of most teams back then kind of like how you aurora celeste and sebastian are the core now like this was the your tank hero your support hero your uh healer like now it's kind of been replaced with uh Aurora, Sebastian, Celeste is like the Holy Trinity. So it's like, yeah, that was such a meta shift. It's just the introduction of Sebastian changed the meta like that much. But you would see teams like this was because Jorgen, because like, uh, Astros ability to drain energy had a lot of synergy with Jorgen. Like they actually worked well together. And Sebastian like shuts all of that down, like all of that down. Like there wasn't pets, so there was no patrons and stuff back then. So there were no pets, but this was meta core like. Um, you would put, like, um, Lars and Krista was a really popular team back in the day. Like, this was, like, kind of like, this was called a team called Meta Twins. This was super popular back in the day. But uh, we can kind of show, like, why this team's not eh, played anymore. Gave you this, and I'll kind of, like, this should be, oh, he's using the c stack with using the same pads as Mars. That's probably fine. Is that, uh, once you have, like, Sebastian, like, right, is... You can just shut it down. Like Sebastian will do it. Like, and it's we now have a better version of the same team. Like that used to be like the best version of the twins team. Well, now the best version of the twins team has the new trio, and this is why stuff like this is why the, that like said because the Sebastian just changed the whole meta game. So we'll watch this, and this team's gonna win, I guarantee it, because. They do not have an answer to all the stuns and stuff of Lars. Right, so that's a, a easy win there. But let's say we didn't have Sebastian. So let's do Celeste. Let's do that. Who would we throw in here? Let's say we are trying Thea here. We are not using Sebastian. Like, we'll see. We might win with Silence. See, Silence pretty good. But uh, you see that we're not gaining energy. Aurora cannot gain energy. Celeste is down. Oh, no. We're going to win with Silence. So we'll have to try a different line, like I said. Kind of show you. Like I said, Vorath like being, like I said, we have all the patrons. I can't really do fights without patrons, so we're just going to run with patrons. Can't do it old school. Um, I guess we want to run with... Maybe we will run with... Martha. We'll run with Martha. And maybe with Aurora just dominates Martha too much to for the other team to win. Because Aurora does dominate Martha. And like I said, there weren't any pets back then either. Aurora's ability to like pretty much almost very close to like not quite hard counter, but very very strong soft counter to Martha. Um, like I said, just makes her like I said, makes Aurora very good. Like Kane allows her to essentially soft counter Martha, like very effectively. Almost hard counter, not quite I wouldn't say quite a hard counter. But to see, like, we're getting stunned, we're getting screwed with energy here, like, can't gain energy. Like, and they're comboing off a lot more. And that's what that's, like, said right there, that's the power of Jorgen, is that he shuts down everything you're doing. And that's, like I said, that was the meta-defining hero, like, the whole meta game was based around Jorgen. Astroth and Martha were his main uh, accomplices, much like uh, you'll see uh, Celeste and Aurora a lot with Sebastian. Like I said, the introduction of Sebastian, literally the biggest game-changing event in the history of this game. Like I've, like, I've never seen anything before or since that affected the game as much as Sebastian has. Pets are a big deal, not as big of a deal as Sebastian. Right, see, there you go. That's game. Boom. So Jorgen, like, that's the difference. Like, Sebastian lets you beat Jorgen, and, uh, you know, but if you don't have Sebastian, you'll lose. 
All right, so I guess we can look at the stats. Like, even though my Krista did a lot, or oh shoot, the thing didn't get. I don't know, the log got, the log messed up. I guess the log didn't go. My new game day just started. That's why it froze for a second. And literally, we just passed my new game day, and I guess it caused the log to crash. So I didn't, didn't log that fight. I'm sorry, guys, but you saw, you saw the results. It was a toy, it was a loss. The other team, like said, Jorgen shut me down and I couldn't win. Like then that was, like said, Jorgen meta. Like that was what made it so good. Um, and why Sebastian was such a game changer in, uh, this game. Um, anyway, um, uh, hope you guys uh, found this video informative. Uh, we do have a new hero named Aiden who's coming out later this month. I did a video about like previewing his skills since he's technically in the game, even though you can't summon him and use him yet. Uh, so check that out below. And as always, thank you for watching.